Making a statement at a press conference held at the Freetown City Council, the Lord Mayor of Hull City and Admiral of Hornbar, who also doubles as the president of Freetown Society in Hull, highlighted the special relationship between the two cities dating back to 1780 during the period of Wilbur Wilberforce Wilbur and the struggle for emancipation from slavery. He revealed that the special relationship was built along the values of faith, education, civic and cultural partnership across both cities and supported each other. Hull City Council continues to actively promote the links between Hull and Freetown and the citizens of Hull have stood alongside Freetown in the times of great need, working together to strengthen communities by raising awareness, empowering groups and improving skills and training. Last October in the Guildhall we were privileged to receive an inspiring speech from your esteemed Mayor, Yvonne, in which she set out her vision for the future of Freetown. The Freetown Society and the City of Hull have been eagerly following the progress of the ambitious plan of your Mayor, the transformation of Freetown, and we applaud the engagement and in environmental improvements that have already taken place under the Mayor's leadership. He thanked the Freetown Society for the opportunity to share the 40 years anniversary celebration, adding that he is grateful to have received the keys to one of the oldest and most powerful cities in Africa. The celebration of 40 years does not only look back at the projects and actions of the past between our great cities, of which there are many, but also the future. The shared concerns we have for our cities, such as flood resilience and the opportunities presented by the use of digital technology are the most recent collaborations and explorations between our councils. And we look forward to our future generations to harness and develop the potential of that new, te to that new technology. As the president of the Freetown Society and as the Lord Mayor of Kingston upon Hull, and Admiral of the Humber, I thank you for the opportunity to share this 40th anniversary celebration with you and the wonderful itinerary that the Mayor, the Mayor Vaughan has brought together for myself and our, my consort, which has been exhausting. <laughs> The mayor of the Freetown municipality, Banaisi Yvonne Akisoya, recalled the history of the two cities, stating that the relationship between the two cities started by another female mayor and that the twinning had made a lot of progress through mutual benefits. In the one year of our twinning, I've really been privileged to see, as the Lord Mayor has said, a relationship which isn't one that's just on paper but one which is real, one which happens in the council and one which happens outside of the council because there are two very strong societies. In Hull, there is the Freetown Society and I've been hosted by them a couple of times now. And here in Freetown, there's the Hull Society. And between the two, and there are members of the Hull Society here today and I want to acknowledge them. Um, and it's that relationship which isn't dependent just on what politicians are doing, but on what ordinary citizens, ordinary residents are doing that has kept this relationship as a twin, dynamic, vibrant and alive over 40 years. She commended the visiting team from Kingston upon Hull City for their tremendous strides in building the synergy, adding that Hull City has definitely made an impact on the Transform Freetown plan because like many other cities, Hull has seen major development some several years ago to the city of Freetown. It is little over 200 years that still requires a lot in terms of development. As I set out to them, the vision and ideas that we had for the transformation of Freetown, what similarities there were between where we were and where we wanted to go, and where they had been, and where they had arrived at. Hull as a city, for those of you who are from the UK, or familiar with the UK, know that 700 years of existence, but not always rosy and bright. And in the last 20 years or so,
Hull had developed a reputation of being at the bottom of the league for education, for teenage pregnancy, for investment. But 10 years later, or 10 years ago now, that city, its leadership, and its residents decided that they were going to change the narrative. And they embarked on a journey which meant that by the time I was there in May 2018, they were ending the year of celebrating being the UK city of culture in 2017. For Star News here in Freetown, I am Moses Ojukamara reporting.